Well, it's all about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. It's Fly Eagles Fly. So, Eagles, so. And wow, how well did they so against Iceland? Defeating Iceland two goals to nil, leaving that Group D in a very, very tight situation. And of course, if you missed that particular game, well, I'm so sorry. You just missed a huge live action like never before. Nigeria will go up against Argentina, the two-time champions, in a quest for a second round place, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Today's produ production will be very, very different, be very, very special as well, because we're going to be in your streets at some malls in Lagos, Hobmat, and of course, uh, Computer Village in Ikeda, just to feel the pulse of everyone, especially how they love this particular Nigerian team and what the expectations will be going forward. And of course, you also stand a chance of joining myself, Baba Ajide Guerrero, and Biola Kazim, for the very best of analysis because sometimes it's easy to just watch behind your phones or your systems and sometimes it's a different ball game to be sat here one of these chairs and talk sports like never before especially if it's football and it's russia 2018 world cup welcome this is all about the game a special production brought to you by afri one mobile and now now remember afri one mobile are the first ever made in nigeria smartphones and tablets, and as well as now 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 is nigeria's fastest mobile wallet afri one mobile one of the um, major um or should i say products in recent times is currently with me yesterday you remember i showed you earlier what it looks like it's the beast and beautiful seventy-five thousand naira affordable masterpiece we call it the transformers remember that song oh, hey little man i can transform you yeah. yeah this is the transformer by afri one it's two in one it's a tab when you need it and of course it's a laptop when you also need it so to the thick of things now boy oh boy am i fired up am i excited boy it feels good to be a nigerian right green white green finally stands for something in russia especially if you consider the fact that uh, two african teams have been uh, eliminated from the world cup step forward egypt step forward morocco the gauntlet was on nigeria to pick it up and then win and boy did they win the boys were absolutely firing on all cylinders yet again slow starters in the game um should i say tried to um, do some particular things unfortunately it didn't go well in the, to the plan in the first half but in the second half we saw nigeria didn't take any shots in the first half i think the first shot of the game came like what now 44 minutes there about but in the second half the first 10 15 seconds saw ahmed musa trying to get a, a goal in you know from the very first uh, minutes in the second half but from then on what they were at the ascendancy and it was absolutely absolutely brilliant to see a nigerian team come to the party like that but nigeria's game was not the only game we saw remember we also saw brazil brazil in one of the greatest attacking abandon known to football kind was what now one two three four ten shots on target ten shots off target against the costa rican team that just packed the boss yes you heard it they went to jibo they went to every prominent um, transport company in, in Nigeria to borrow buses that just literally packed the buses and it was quite difficult really for them to break down. But step forward, Philippe Coutinho at the 90th minute and of course Neymar at the 97th minute. It's been a tale of late goals in this particular World Cup. But most importantly, it's been a World Cup to cherish to remember above all to have fun with and speaking of fun our man Viola Kazim will be joining us very very shortly but just before we go into that particular one we can also tell you for free that Serbia and um, Switzerland ended in two goals to one Zedan Shakiri with yet again another he's got a penchant a strong liking for scoring late goals all time all through his career and Granit Xhaka bringing them back into that game um, courtesy goals from uh, in, I think in the 62nd 61st minute Power driver, typical Granite Chaka. And now Switzerland are yet to lose in this year's tournament. Remember, they drew their first game against who? I'll tell you. How? Afi won mobile, of course, definitely. That they drew to Brazil earlier in the tournament. And uh, in that particular game, we saw a certain history being made as Neymar was actually the most fouled player, the second most fouled player in the history of the World Cup. The first most fouled player was a certain Alan Shearer in, uh, in, 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 in 1998 World Cup against Tunisia. England versus Tunisia, he was killed, kicked 11 times. Meanwhile, Neymar was kicked 10 times, making him the most fouled player in a game of football. We can talk on and on and on. The joy knows no bounds. The atmosphere is filled with so much joy, so much optimism. Sheer belief is in the veins and the DNA of every Nigerian. And my, oh my, did Ahmed Musa 
live up to that particular expectations right there. Two goes to the good, becoming the player, the highest scoring player in the history of the World Cup for Nigeria. Remember, he scored two goals at the last World Cup, as well as, you know, um, bagging in cheap again as another two goals in this particular, you know, um, match day. And we're looking forward to match day 11. Uh, match day 11, we'll see uh, Germany defending reigning champions take to the pitch against Sweden and that game is a huge game of football and that's a game in focus guys so all you need to do to get onto that particular elite cast of trade you know this is where I dust my shoulder of people who have won for themselves amazing prizes smartphones souvenirs t-shirts vouchers um, cash rewards time and time again everyone mobile and now now speaks Afri One Mobile and now now delivers. It's as simple as that. So how about you go to our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Afri One Mobile and now now Nigeria. Of course, we're looking forward to having your thoughts. Do want to predict on any of this platform and remember as well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Afri One Mobile live on YouTube for the very best of discussions, conversations, interviews, reviews, previews, breaking news, what have you coming live from Russia. At this time, I patch up through with my man, Biola Kazim, all the way, and you can see Biola beaming right now. He is in Russia, he's having fun, coupled with the day that Super Eagles of Nigeria made every Nigerian smile. During the course of the show, I, I mentioned earlier that uh, we went to the streets to feel the pulse of the amazing teaming fans of the Super Eagles of Nigeria in an attempt to watch their team soar. And trust me, these particular views would really melt your heart, especially the view of a particular chap who was just there. We're going to win the World Cup. I mean, little chap right there, having showing a lot of optimism for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So if that particular chap can believe that's what Afri One Mobile and Nana also believes, we, we believe strongly in the Made in Nigeria products. We believe strongly as well in believing in the product Nigeria. That's why we also bring to you our own 2E1 Transformers. And remember, we also got Galaxy and Champions from our own stable. Remember as well that Now Now Nigeria now now happen to provide a very spectrum of um, financial solutions. I mean, from being able to pay for your mobile top up and pay some financial bills. That's what Now Now is all about. So we go to the street now, shall we? Let's feel the pulse of the people. Nigeria. I'm not really sure. I can't really give them 50% or 100 at all. Because as I'm watching it, they don't play as a team. They are scattered. Type of goal, Ronaldo no fit. Ronaldo, Messi no fit. Yes, no fit. I never have to talk that wow. Nigeria is out because I know the competition has not ended. I said there is hope. If there is no hope, I would have left. I can't say for the fun of staying. So when I see football, I can read the future of it. That was my hope, and you know, I thank her for it. We were a little bit disappointed, but what we are seeing today, we are very much happy with uh, the display, and uh, we thank uh, the boys for coming to, you know, um, to play today with grit and uh, the Nigerian spirit. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy for the Nigeria, because La Moussa, he came to give us two super goals, exploded, extraordinary, that came from common. Really, vive l'Afrique, vive the Nigeria, vive la Côte d'Ivoire. Give to the month. I like Nigeria. It was a good game. Nice one. Ah, all the players did well. They make us proud. We love the game. We celebrate. One love Nigeria. Oh, this place is just oh, one Nigeria and one nation. This is the formation we want Grand Roy to keep using. And this is how we want it. And next team, we are going to 
We are going to slaughter Argentina. And this is Ahmed Musa that's still going to do it. He has done it before. He's going to do it again. Okay, it was a very exciting match. Nigeria really played very well. The tactics were very good. They were on spot. And of course, the players came to the game. It was very wonderful. May I help you, man? I'm so happy, so excited. You know, we make it. No, glory be to Almighty God. Argentina 5 0. You know, Musa is winning. Argentina 5 0. When we try to play on Argentina like this, the way we play today, you understand, in fact, at least I, my intention, at least my opinion is that I'm going, I believe that Nigeria is going to collect the cup. This year, we have a chance of winning this World Cup. Wow, brilliant feeds right there. That just tells you the level of optimism about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now the tails are up, now the Eagles are soaring. And let's see how well we'll soar come Tuesday when we take it on Argentina in the last and final game at the World Cup. Hopefully, hopefully, my, my heart tells me Nigeria will beat Argentina or rather Nigeria will go through and my head tells me the same thing. What is your heart and head telling you? How about you share with us on our social media platforms at Afi One Mobile and Afi One Mobile Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Afi One Mobile. And do well as well to drop your comments in the comment sections, whichever social media platform you can choose. I join at this time. And of course, the one that concerns every Nigerian um, at this particular time Biola Nigeria versus Iceland. What are your thoughts about that particular game? Today, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have got a very, very big game today against Iceland. We've got to win that game. Uh, we get the feeling at one point. Um, we we'll make the game against Argentina. We'll um, two dice, so to speak. So, all three points against Iceland. We're going to the game against Argentina. A bit more confident. Um, a bit more sure, so to speak. Um, I'm going through to the second round. So, big, big game. Hopefully, the Super Eagles of Nigeria will do the business. The run looks like we're changing this team a little bit. We must change that team. Um, so, we have a big one. We'll be a bit more intensity, a bit more dynamism, and um, we have a bit too much for Iceland to come. So how they cook very well with Argentina. The feeling is that they might change how they will play a little bit against us, and that might work. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of emotion so far has been left on the turf, especially as a lot of teams have picked up second round tickets and exit tickets. And um, the only emotion you have of sense that would be in the minds of all the German players right now is an emotion of getting three maximum points in their game as they take on Sweden. What are your thoughts about it? Talking about Germany as well tomorrow, big game they have. Um, against Sweden, remember, Sweden won their home game, one nil against South Korea. Unfortunately, Germany lost one nil to Mexico. That has complicated things very badly for Germany um, against Sweden. We know what the Swedes will do. Line up four banks, two banks rather, or four, or three, four, five, one. They make life and reaching it difficult. Germany have got individual quality, but will they find the tactical um, astuteness, so to speak, um, to break the walls to be able to Probably will be a long afternoon. Wow, thank you so very much, Viola Kazim, all the way from Russia. We'll do this again, definitely. All right, guys, that's the much we can take on today's broadcast. We want to thank you very much for being part of this. From day one, we've opened our studios, the Afri One Mobile and Now Now Studios for the World Cup. It's a diary show that comes your way every God-given day as you guard the World Cup. My name is Baba Ajide Guerrero, and, of course, my partner is right there in Russia. We want to thank you very much, and Soa Eagles Soa. But remember, 
that uh, you can whip out your phone at this moment to um, probably predict the scoreline between the match between Germany and Sweden. Predict scoreline between match of Germany and Sweden and stand a chance of winning amazing prizes ranging from smartphones, yes, cash rewards, yes, souvenirs, yes, t-shirts, yes. The only thing you can win is Baba Gide Guerrero, of course. That's if I thought you were probably predicting something else. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, will be another time to come your way, another day. I look forward to seeing you out uh, today. Take care of yourselves and each other. God bless Nigeria.